Okay, are we filming? Hopefully we are. I just filmed an entire clip and the camera was facing the wrong way. <laughs> I'm on the struggle bus today, guys. I also just ordered a coffee from a new place I've been wanting to try. It's really good, but I forgot to say almond milk. Oh, and I'm scared, honestly. It tastes really good. I got a half sweet iced caramel blondie from Black Rock Coffee. It's very good. I'm so glad I ordered half sweet though because it is pretty sweet. Um, and yeah, I don't really do dairy that much. So send a prayer. Um, but yeah, I'm going around thrifting. So it's the Wednesday after Christmas. I um, took the week off of for vacation because I just really need some time off. I need some time at home, some time where I don't have stuff scheduled. So really glad I did that. I already am feeling so refreshed and recharged. Um, and today I'm going thrifting. I'm doing a little, not really redecorating the house, but kind of, you know, I'm in a little home decor era right now, switching some things up really more so adding things to switch the vibe than like actually changing, like replacing things. But I'm excited. We have new bedding coming on Friday, new um, accent pillows and pillow covers that I ordered for around the house. I also got some new hardware handles, knobs for our like bedroom furniture and some of the furniture in the front room. And today I'm thrifting about for some home decor, hoping to find some cool frames, possibly lamps for our bedroom. There's a set that I want. The brand is Safavea. They also do like rugs and stuff, but they have them at Target. They have them at Amazon. Right now they're on sale. It's a set of two of these lamps. They're really large. I'll post a picture um, for like $118. And I do have a Target gift card that I can use for those. But since I'm out thrifting today, I might just see if I can find a set of lamps that fits the vibe. I need them to be perfect though. So we'll see. And if I don't find anything good, I'll just buy those as a backup because those are really the ones that I want. But I thought if I could find a better deal that has the same vibe, we'll go with that. But looking for lamps, possibly also a gold floor lamp, like a very simple one for our front room. I would really like that. Looking for picture frames, maybe some little like brass, gold, tchotchkes, things like that. So we'll see what we find. Maybe a little trinket dish here or there. Um, some stuff for my dresser and maybe nightstand. Just trying to like whip it all together. Of course, there's a biker in the middle of the road. I am so sorry if you're a bicyclist, but if you are riding your bike on a busy road, you're not my favorite person. You're actually my least favorite. Like, it's just rude. We're all driving. You're making everyone, like you're on a busy, there's stoplights everywhere. Go to the country, you know? And anyway, also we live in the hill country. Like you could bike somewhere else. Anyways, I'm getting off my soapbox. I'm gonna drink this coffee, say a prayer to the milk gods that this does not damage my stomach to the point that I have to go home. Um, and I'll let you guys know if I find anything thrifting. Okay, we're actually getting Christmas stuff put away, but I wanted to show you everything I got while thrifting the other day. Um, I got this silver tray. This is actually funny. It has this like mother of pearl vibe to it, very heavy. Um, when I was in Goodwill, this caught my eye. I just really liked it. And then I Googled this um, brand 
towel, whatever, silversmiths. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Totally maybe. Um, and there's this brand of silverware is at Neiman Marcus for like $1,200. So I thought I found some, so like some super expensive piece. Um, turns out they're selling it on eBay for $20, but Hey, I got it for six. So I love that. I think I'm going to use it as a tray on this table. Ignore the mess. We're putting away Christmas. Um, this is probably one of my favorite finds, the Southern Living Christmas hardcover book. I love this. It has like DIYs, which is so fun. All sorts of DIYs and there's recipes like how to make stockings. Look how precious that is. I wish it was 92 because that's the year I was born, um, but I will take 95 for now. And this was only $2.99 and it's in perfect condition. So after I found that, I ended up finding this little cookbook holder, which is so freaking precious with the snowman. Oops. Like, are you kidding? That's so cute. So I'm excited to display that next year on our kitchen counter. Um, I did get these precious little pink baby boots. It's like a vase or just like a display piece. It was only $1.99. Um, I have a friend that's having a girl, a baby girl, and I'm doing a basket for her, getting her obviously mostly new stuff, but I just thought this was too precious to not have as like a little detail on some shelves in her room or her dresser or something. So had to get that. This is another one of my favorite finds. I need to shine it up. Um, it's a little turned, but you put a candle inside and it has these little tree cutouts all over, which I just think is so, so stinking cute. It did come with a candle, I just took it out. It seemed a little small. I also got this little Christmas village thing. So cute, I don't have any of this stuff, um, but it says 1988 and that's Morgan's birth year. So I just thought that was kind of cute. It's only $2.99, maybe I'll paint it someday. Maybe I'll just start collecting this Charmex brand, I don't know. My parents always had these and I just love them. I just think they're cute. So that's my first piece. I also found this fun piece. Let me know what you think this is. You can see all the way through it. I'm gonna use it like a vase and put like a little stem inside. Love the gold bow detail. It was $3.99 um, and the rest of it is silver. It just needs to be polished. But I think like silver and gold, I'm really into mixed metals. So I thought that was really precious. Um, What else did I get? I think that was mostly it. I'll come back if I find that I missed something. Okay, here are the other things that I got. I got this matching set of candlesticks, three of those, this little tree vase for like candy. I actually had this candy in there, but I um, dumped it out so I can put that away. This is a little candle holder and I actually have a spoon rest that like matches this, but it's a snowman. snowman. And then this one's Santa, like how cute. I'm honestly a sucker for like little old, like, I don't know if this is actually old, but. It kind of feels old, I love that. And then I found this super cute, needs to be cleaned, um, white vase. I was just playing around with some flowers that I already had, probably going to replace those with like tulips or something for spring, but just this little bag vase, so cute. It is ugly, personally, I think so. On the other side, that's not my vibe, but it's okay, because it's only one-sided. Okay, I'm doing a terrible job. There we go. I just thought that was so cute. Quick lunch, I'm gonna air fry a couple of these blackened chicken strips. I'm gonna do about half the bag of this um, Caesar salad from Walmart. Um, or at least two cups of it, I guess. We'll see, maybe three cups um, of the salad. And I think I'm gonna have this soup. I'm making a pizza for Morgan right now. Um, they subbed our tomato soup with this one. So I think I'm gonna give it a go. Obviously, I don't know why you would sub chicken noodle for tomato but that's not my problem i mean it is my problem i guess but what are you supposed to do um so i thought i'd give it a go it's 170 calories for the whole container and per container 14 grams of protein so honestly pretty good i'm interested to give this a go i'll let you know what i think all right y'all finished uh lunch i did about half the bag of the lettuce and then just about a third of the dressing croutons and cheese and then i did four and a half ounces of blackened chicken and then we're trying the Campbell's chicken noodle soup. I just love the macros on this. I can't even believe it. 170 calories, 14 protein. I just feel like that's so good. So I'll let you guys know how it tastes and I'm about to eat. Hey y'all, we just got back from the store, the grocery store. Me and Morgan pretty much killed it last week. 
We did. And this weekend. We're doing really good, feeling really good. We're both kind of eating differently um, than each other. Well, not that differently, but we're making our own meals and we just cook together at the same time and like whip up whatever each of us is having. So I thought I would show you sort of a two-sided grocery haul, what Morgan got for him, and he'll kind of explain what meals he's going to make with it. Um, and then I'll show you what I got for me. All right, so at least for me, kind of what I'm trying to do this year um, is something I probably should have done a long time ago. Uh, I've always felt like I've had more energy when I've gone with more protein kind of things. So um, for breakfast, I got egg whites um, and then eggs. I have bacon, turkey sausage, um, and a little cheese. I'm going to make some egg cups. I'll probably just use the turkey sausage with the egg cups and cheese. Um, and then I'm going to do like grass-fed hamburger patties uh, with some bacon um, in there. Yeah, there's the patties right there. Um, and then just got like a shrimp cocktail, just uh, shrimp are real high in protein. It's an easy snack to grab. Yeah, I'll probably eat them as a meal as well. Yeah, there's so much you can do with this. It's 80 calories for three ounces. And, and I think I figured it up. 13 protein. Yeah, I figured it up at the store. That's two pounds. So it's like 52 grams of protein and a pound of shrimp. And um, if you eat half of that tray. Yeah, it's honestly, I, I can put down a pound of shrimp pretty yeah. easily. Um, and then one. I wasn't so naive to think that I was never going to have a sweet craving, so I got some bananas, um, some, is this, I don't know if this is no fat, or is this just plain Greek yogurt? Yeah, 0% fat. It is plain the Greek yogurt, um, and it does have, what is that, 18 grams of protein mm -hmm. in the serving? Yeah. And three-fourths a cup. And then just to sweeten it up, because plain Greek yogurt is... Plain Greek yogurt. Yeah, a little sour. So I got a little bit of honey just to put in there, just to add a little bit of sweetener, um, but obviously better than a candy bar or right. something like that. Right, and we have some frozen fruit that he can use as well. Yeah, I was going to throw like some frozen blueberries or strawberries in there as well. So, yep. uh, And then the coffee creamer that we got, I'm not going to give up coffee or creamer. <laughs> so we just got Chobani. Um, it's just like a caramel macchiato, but I don't think it's that bad, right? I think it's good. And it's, um, I mean, it it's any, a new flavor to us. We haven't tried this one. Yeah, we haven't tried that one. And I would say in, com like in comparison to like Coffee Mate, yeah. probably a better choice. Yeah. But I will say our dietitian, Erin, her thing is she doesn't change people's coffee. Her like number one rule is I'm not going to mess with your coffee order. I'm not going to mess with your coffee at home. So we can do whatever we want in our coffee every morning. And honestly, coffee is not something that I really want to change. No, and I don't think I <laughs> gained weight because I had four tablespoons of creamer in my coffee. So Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that was kind of my side of things, and then Lauren's going to do hers. Good job, babe. We're proud of you. Thank you. Okay, so moving on, I got these little mini Alani News. Just restocking these. I really like these as a like pre-workout sort of vibe because pre-workout kind of gives me the jitters. Every morning I've been having my iced coffee again, so I went ahead and picked up the Elite Core Power, which has 42 grams of protein. This honestly keeps me full in the morning. I'm not a huge breakfast person. I try to be, and even when I meal prep breakfast, I'll only eat it a day or two, so that it just seems wasteful, and this is really what's been working for me. These are 230 calories, but starting my day with 42 grams of protein has been super helpful. Um, I also got the Dan Enlightened Fit. These are 80 calories, 12 protein. The strawberry cheesecake is my absolute favorite. I also have a cereal that I got. I'll show you that in a minute to put as like granola. Um, I got that last week, actually. Two key weeks, which sounded good. I'm going to make burrito bowls um, for dinner this week. So got a pound of lean ground beef for that. Some Roma tomatoes, some salsa. I have rice in the freezer as well. I meant to grab shredded lettuce, but I forgot, so I might steal some lettuce for this on night one, and I'll just pick up some shredded lettuce. But I also got some Caesar salad. I love this with the Tyson blackened chicken strips. This bag is actually from Costco, but you can get these pretty much at any grocery store. I love these. They're not breaded. They're deliciously seasoned, and we just air fry them for like eight minutes, and they're perfect. Got some green beans as well to kind of amp up the vegetable intake, and I will probably use um, some of this yogurt as well for different like sauces and stuff, maybe even in my burrito bowls. Mm -hmm. 